back to my channel so it's been a while happy new year to each and every one of you merry christmas and valentine's day is coming up so let me say happy valentine's day in advance so i haven't been on here for quite a while now i've been busy up and down but i'm here to just you know say hi to you guys and show you my new and updated few things that i've been trying out over the past couple of months and um let's just start right into it so i've already done my brows I used my Evita Joseph's brow pencil in the shade Midnight Drop and I already concealed my eyebrows with the phone concealer from LA Girl. So right now, and I already applied my lashes from Annie's Beauty, so yeah. Um, so to start off with my eyes, I'm going to use this eyeshadow primer from Nikak that I got from Beauty. BB Beauty Store in the shade Pearl. I'm going to use the Evita Joseph Multi Buffer Brush. It has two ends. So the next thing to do is to go in with a transition color and I'm going to use this MAC 219 brush right here and I'm picking this shade, this coral shade from my Inglot eyeshadow palette. I'm applying that onto my crease area. And I'm going in next with my Evita Joseph Crease Definer Brush. I'm going to pick this green shade, um, blue green shade right here to also intensify my crease look. I got this new Yoshe Favy palette nine color eyeshadow palette from your shade cosmetic these are all the colors that are in we have some few matte shades we have about one two three four five five matte five shimmery shades and then four matte shades so for my eyelid i'm using the large crease definer brush from evita joseph and i'm picking this shade right here which is called champagne i'm just picking a little bit onto the brush and i'm applying it Ooh. This shadow didn't come to play at all. So for primer, I'm going in with my Mel Stay Matte Foundation Primer and I'm buffing everything in with my Colorbox Cosmetic Buffing Brush. an all-nighter thing I'm going to do I'm going to do my best to prevent oil from you know coming to my face more often so I'm going to pre-bake my face with my black opal loose um, finishing powder in the shade medium and I'm going in with my foundation and I'm using my L'Oreal true match Lumi luminous makeup in the shade cool um in the shade c7 to c8 and to conceal i'm using the shade font from la girl this is a new foundation brush from colorbox cosmetic it's good to do everything to blend out your highlights your contour your foundation to even set your face with powder so i'm using my max studio fix foundation powder in the shade nc45 i'm going to press that under my eyes powder brush to set my whole face with the with my MAC Studio Fix powder to contour I'm going to use this Burkina from my GPS Place Masquerade palette Blush. Set 
my face with my Lux Hydrating Rose Water. So now the next thing to do is to bake and I'm baking my under eyes with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. for my face to bake I'm going to tie slime my waterline with this black eyeshadow from the Yoshi cosmetic and it's in the shade Nero and for highlights I'm going to use the same champagne I'm going to mix champagne with this gold color right here aura champagne and aura these two shades then my Evisa joseph duo brush i'm using the other end to pick it so for lips i'm using my sephora red lipstick in the shade one okay guys so this is the finished look and i must say i'm loving the yoshe favy palette it has all wonderful beautiful nice shades in it it has your darks it has your highlighters it has your you know crease colors that you can use and also with the brushes that i got this is the color box you know buffing brush which is good for all for foundations for concealing and highlighting and also the evita joseph brushes that i use for my eyes you can't just get enough of this and all these are locally made locally made they are all Ghanaian products except the foundation and the highlight the concealers that i use that i know you know locally made but aside that these these products help me achieve this look that i have on my face right here with, not with the exception of the Asha Key Hydrating Rose Water. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.